Hi guys, it's your girl, Mel Quinn, aka Scabby Melly, a bit different this time. Um, I just wanted to hop on here and make a video about some potential good news in gaming. Well, right in this at the time, it looks like these might actually be happening. And these are definitely good news for me, like literally for me, it, it's really weird how this has panned out. Um, I'll get into it. So basically, in a space of a week, two games have been potentially announced whose franchises, kind of, have been a major milestones in my gaming life and general life in general, to be honest. And it's a Croc Legend of the Gobos remake, Croc being the first ever game I ever played ever, and a new Fable, in which getting a 360 finally in 2008 with Fable 2 gave me a new reason to live, as at the time school was becoming unbearable and I hadn't been lost in gaming since owning a PS2, which was like starting to totally die out at the time. But mainly a Croc Legend of the Gobos remake, woo! Before I start this video, I'm reintroducing this channel again in case it's stumbled upon. What I'm doing with this channel, this channel right here, is mainly for TV shows, films and gaming and media and all that kind of stuff. But important music stuff like, like a fire ass music video or general mixes will be on this channel because obviously this channel kind of has the most subs and that's still not many. Um, any other music content that's like unedited live stuff or just unplugged stuff will go to my music channel link in bio. And my shorts are literally just anything, stuff I post on TikTok basically, which I try to make music based but it's just all over the place to be fair. Got that? Cool. So just kind of one more thing, this isn't, isn't going to be like a news thing, like I don't have any information on these games, I'm just some nerd on YouTube who just wants to talk about it and has the opinions of what has come out at the moment. Um, so funny enough, I played both of these games through lockdown, Croc, and then I went Fable 1 to 3, so I still have some fairly fresh thoughts of playing the games now-ish. So starting most importantly, this is kind of the main news really, is the remake of, uh, the remaster of Croc Legend of the Gobos. Uh, to explain what Croc is, if you haven't played it, Croc is a 3D platformer for PS1, released in 1997, made by Arrogant Games, is that how it's said it? Or An Arrogant Games? I'm so sorry. And Fox, in which you play a little crocodile who was adopted by these cute little gobo things. There's a little short opening at the start of them getting kidnapped and it's really emotional, even to today. Including the little Gobo King. Croc needs to get through these levels, rescuing the Gobos on the way. Um, just a little fun fact, I'm recording this as I'm editing by the way, but it, it is to be known that Croc was actually originally pitched as a 3D Yoshi game, but I think it got denied and that's why we have Croc in the first place. How I remember this game is just a beautiful game. I got so lost in with some beautiful music, but I was so young at the time that I don't remember ever finishing it. I think this is like my only memory of the 90s. Um, my best friend who lived across the way, we would just get like passwords and stuff because that was back in the day where passwords were kind of a big thing. Uh, but you can still save on this game from what I remember. Um, but what you don't realise in playing it again is like this game is really clunky to play Croc, um, position him, him and stuff to jump on certain platforms, which I'll get into right now of replaying it. From recently replaying Croc, yeah. Very frustrating, kind of blinded by the nostalgia and the beautiful music. Oh my god, the music was so well composed. The issues is best way to describe is Croc moves in a very 4x4 four four movement. But as the game gets going, it wants you to make more precise jumps and add that with the added camera angle, you got a very angry Mel. <laughs> However, I, I, it's still a good game. I like the art style. I think the characters are very charming. And I remember playing it over lockdown and there were some puzzles and I thought to myself, you know, these puzzles are, are good puzzles. What ruins it is Croc controls like arse. And I can imagine it really benefit. I remember really clearly having this thought. I was like, it could really benefit from having a remake, potentially. And here we are, hearing it's going to have a remake. Please. 
because I always thought Croc was kind of underrated at the time with such icons such as Crash and Rayman being in this area. Um, there's no release date as of yet, but the 6th of June announcement has been updated on the Wiki Wikipedia page, so there's some hope there. Now on to Fable, the uh, Fable series in general. I was later than most coming into the new age of gaming at that time. Uh, I had a PS2 and then it was really dying out and I was like, it's 2008 and I'm craving the world of gaming again. So I got a 360 with Fable 2 for Christmas of 2008 and um, it was beautiful. Uh, then from there I discovered Xbox Live and yeah I was kind of hooked back into gaming after that but that's like that came afterwards which again was well needed because senior school was a tough time for sure. Obs I did start my Fable series with the second and that was my favourite one in my personal opinion. It was the perfect game to get back into for, for gaming at that time. Easy to follow storyline, easy combat, it was an emotional ending for me personally and some really funny just characters you meet along the way, uh, British humour and all that kind of stuff. It's proper, proper, proper cool. Replaying the games, I definitely admired the first Fable a lot more. Um, I was very biased in my opinion that Fable 2 was the best, but replaying Fable now, I was like that. They're both, you know, they're both good ones and I understand why Fable is people's favourite one. Fable 2 I enjoyed as much as ever. A lot of the filler missions can be a little bit boring, I'm not gonna lie, but it's absolutely hilarious, British humour, I love the characters. Then it kind of flopped at Fable 3. I think I enjoyed it when I first played it, just a first playthrough, but replaying it, it, I just wanted it to kind of end. The gameplay was just a bit too easy, you level up too easy, the storyline kind of comes to a halt and it's just laggy as hell. It's still got some funny moments and some charming moments in it though. So what do I think of the, the latest official trailer, which is simply named as Fable? I do feel like we've had uh, a lot of Fable 4 teasers a few times over the years. Not much has been happening with this franchise since it's not been with Lion's Head Studios anymore. However, like I stated, they have a fairly well-known English celeb, Richard Ayoade, uh, most famous for being in IT Crowd. I've never really seen that show, but things I've seen him in have been quite funny, for sure. Anyway, what I was saying is, oh yeah, they must surely go ahead with something like that now they've, you know, had him cast but at least that must have cost a lot anyway. Um, the trailer doesn't give much away, just an animation. Not really a storyline, just a voiceover from Richard, who turns out to be a giant. I think the scenery looks really good in this clip, but is it me or, or the people animation, mainly referring to CGI Richard, look weird, kind of like um, AI looking weird mouth movements? I don't know, proper weird. So it gives you no idea how it's going to be like um, and how it's going to come to fruition. It's got the humour aspects of it. Not really getting much fable from it, um, but you surely just can't judge um, a game based on this official trailer. It'd be madness to judge the gameplay because it's obviously not gameplay. It's just an animation. All I hope for still is you can buy houses, rent them out, and tax them beyond reason, just like what private renting is like in the UK today. So this is a little added bit I'm just editing just now and I just wanted to add this uh, little bit of opinion in because I looked on YouTube this morning and I wanted to see what other people thought of the trailer and I was quite surprised about the controversy around, yeah, you guessed it, the female protagonist being ugly <laughs> or like a, a trans female or something like that. It's... Um, in my opinion, is ridiculous. We shouldn't be judging it by that. First of all, not that looks looks matters, but I just think the protagonist isn't that ugly. She sort of just depicts a woman. We got to remember, Fable is sort of between maybe the fourteenth and the the eighteenth century, where there wasn't much uh, properties in our skincare. There was just you know bars of soap, and I think people aged faster. Um, I don't know why I'm having to say that, but again, she's just a woman with, with no makeup, not really that ugly at all. And if it so is a woke thing where she is a trans female, 
um, again, so what? It's not hurting anyone. <laughs> like, um, maybe judge it when it comes out and judge the gameplay and how much you enjoy the game. I'm sorry you neckbeards don't have this fantasy woman to fat to. I do apologise for that. But I don't get over it. <laughs> anyway, I didn't want to end it on a negative. Uh, again, looking forward to the game and I'll definitely be buying it and playing it. So yeah, a quick video because I just couldn't believe these two games that are so special to me have been announced. So next time someone says the universe doesn't revolve around me, I'm going to say actually it does. What do you think of these announcements? Any, Anyone excited? And yeah, if you watch, please subscribe. I like talking about these kind of things. Catch you at the next one. Bye.